Hi friends, let's learn about the cleavage in embryology. Cleavage starts immediately after fertilization and it is a process of repeated mitotic divisions of zygote within zona pellucida to form increased number of small cells called blastomeres. These blastomeres are pluripotent stem cells and the presence of these blastomeres within the zona pellucida is an important factor because zona pellucida is provide, provides microenvironment for the developing blastomeres and it, it holds the blastomeres together and the zona pellucida acts like a barrier between the blastomeres and maternal tissue to prevent immunological reactions between them because zona pellucida doesn't contain any histocompatibility antigens and the process of cleavage is helpful uh, to the formation of large ratio of cytoplasmic to nucleus into normal ratio as seen in somatic cells and the cleavage occurs when uh, the uh, when the uh, zygote is uh, traveling from fallopian tube to uterine cavity the process of traveling is aided by the ciliary beads of uterine tube epithelium and muscular contractions of uterine cavity the total the total duration of cleavage is six days after fertilization these are the stages of cleavage uh, first stage is two, st two cellular stage in this stage the zygote is divided into one large cell and a small cell this stage is observed after 24 hours of uh, fertilization and first uh, the large cell divides in divides and then followed by the small cell during second phase of mitotic division four cellular stage is formed three to four cellular stage is observed between uh, two days after fertilization that is 36 to 48 hours after fertilization and the next stage during third phase of mitotic division eight cellular stage is formed up to eight cellular stage the cells are packed loosely and the cell boundaries are marked clearly. After 8 cellular stage, the cells are compacted, they become close to each other uh, and this stage is called stage of compaction and this is observed 3 days after fertilization. The outer cells form tight junctions between them and they become polar whereas inner cells form gap junctions between them. And the next stage is morula. It, it is 16 cellular stage. It looks like a mulberry, hence it is called morula. Outer cells of this morula form outer cell mass. They form trophoblast. Whereas inner cell cells are called inner, inner cell mass, they form embryonic proper, hence these are also called as embryoblasts. This is formed after third day of fertilization. Up to this stage, the nutrition for these stages is coming from the breakdown products of tubal secretion and the food stored in their cytoplasm. Next stage is 30 to 60, 32 to 64 cell stage. In this, this stage is formed between fourth to fifth day after fertilization. In this stage, the in, uh, in this stage, this this stage reaches the uterine cavity. And the fluid in the uterine cavity enters uh, into the structure by piercing the zona pellucida and form fluid filled intercellular spaces. Uh, the uterine, uterine fluid is rich in nutrients, hence the fluid which is entering in the structure is also called as uterine milk. Due to entry of fluid into the structure causes the flattening of trophoblast cells and this uh, elite blastocysts uh, assume the ch shape of the cyst and become rounded. Next stage is 1 or 4 cell stage. In this stage, thinning of zona pellucida is observed uh, due, to the, due to the production of trypsin-like enzyme by these trophoblast cells. And this stage is uh, observed after 5th day after fertilization. Uh, the total number of trophoblast cells is 99 and the total number of inner cell mass is 8 cells. And the small, mm, small fluid-filled inter intercellular spaces become single cavity. This is called blastocyst, And this uh, stage is uh, called early blastocyst. And the next stage the zona pellucida is completely di disappeared. This stage is observed sixth day after fertilization. And matured blastocyst observed here. Uh, here the trophoblast cells are able to uh, pierce uh, the uterine epithelium and enter into the endometrial stroma. And the side in front of this inner cell mass is called embryonic pole or animal pole. And the opposite side of this embryonic pole is called abembryonic pole. And the uh, trophoblast in front of this inner, inner cell mass is called polar trophoblast. And the remaining trophoblast is called mural trophoblast. This polar trophoblast is the trophoblast which bears the uterine epithelium and enters into the endometrial stroma. And this is about the cleavage. Thank you.